going on guys? I'm Emma Pani, and I'm here with the G6. We're here at the Lift Factory on Olympia weekend and we just hit some chest. So basically, it's probably about as basic as a chest workout as you would get. Uh, we work with dumbbells, um, an arsenal strength incline press, and then two sets of flies. Um, so we started off with uh, incline dumbbell flies. Uh, it's nothing fancy. We just basically with that, it's not really to push a lot of weight. It's, uh, well, I tried to push a lot of weight. Well, just... I didn't. Actually, it's more than I usually do. Please make me feel better. <laughs> um, you know, it's really stretch out the muscle because uh, the next exercise was going to go right into a heavy dumbbell press, which I normally use as part of my chest workout. I like to use dumbbells and kind of progressively overload that. Uh, Evan's pretty, different. I pretty much always use a barbell. So when Gary was like, you know, Gary's had a chest injury, I guess a couple of them, and yeah, doesn't really feel comfortable using the barbell. So when he suggested using dumbbells, I was like, yeah, I don't usually do it. So let's do it. I've had a pec tear, a major pec rupture back in 2008. Using a barbell, um, it was before I was even a bodybuilder, and every time that I've tried to use a barbell after that, you know, years after that, I would get too strong, something would pull in the other pec, and it just always like a warning sign to be like, don't do this. Gary's too strong. Too strong now. Um, it's too strong for the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess. Um, then we went to the uh, Arsenal incline, and I usually try to use Arsenal because it's not available to at my normal gym, usually like the hammer strength stuff there. I like to push that, um, I'll switch between that and incline dumbbell, but you know, when you're on the road, you try to like see the different kind of machines that they use and then you know take advantage of it, otherwise we'd be doing the same shit every week. And true, true, it's nice when you travel and just kind of switch it up a little. I'm finished with Cable flies. Cable flies. Cable flies, uh, you know, that's kind of the finisher. Um, I'll either start or end with them. In this case, obviously, um, you know, we ended with them. And finish off with calves. I always do calves with chest just because the other days that I work out, there's usually something on top of the mo you know, back with biceps. That takes extra time. So I always want to make sure that I put calves in. And most people, you know, you ever find people that are always like, calves won't grow no matter what I do. Oh, and, then, yeah. and, and maybe for like a small percentage of the world, that might be true. But the fact of the matter is that most people actually just don't train calves hard enough. They don't stretch it at the bottom long enough. And they're just not diligent as much as they would be with biceps, you know, something that's showier. Yeah, I mean, most people, when they train calves, I mean, okay, if you train chest, today we did, what, four movements, mm -hmm. several sets of each, yeah. and pushed as hard as we could on each set. Yeah. So uh, most people, when they train calves, are probably not training them that thoroughly. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, um, it's something you can do three times a week. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, it, I guess it depends on how, yeah. how hard you go at it. I mean, to Gary's point, you know, you, just like any other muscle, I don't think you're gonna change, you're not gonna change the shape of it or the insertions no. of it, but uh, you can certainly try to change the size of it, and I think most of us are able to do that. Yeah, it's, um, you just think about like, most people, if they go to the start, without going to the gym, they start going to the gym, they can get their biceps bigger. I'm not saying it's to be world record, you know, setting, but it'll go from something to a little bit bigger, if not a lot bigger, as they go to the gym. Why? Because biceps are fun to train, especially for a beginner. A lot of you guys watching this, you will be traveling at some point. You know, maybe it's to a show like the Olympia or the an Arnold and you know, uh, you, you hear about a certain gym and there's gonna be guys there, so you wanna go, you wanna get a workout you know, in while everyone else is too. Um, just a couple things I would say. Well, first of all, anytime you're training in an atmosphere outside of what you're accustomed to, you should always be cautious. Um, you know, equipment is different. Even, you know, sometimes bars are different. You might walk into a gym and uh, you know, a bar might be bent, so it, it, things might feel different. It might have a tendency to roll. Um, a crowded gym you really have to be careful and that's what you'll find a lot of times at these events you know there'll be one really cool gym that everybody wants to train at you'll go at a popular time and the place is packed say you're benching all it takes is somebody to walk by and brush the barbell while you've got it on your chest and you know you're gonna have yourself an injury 
Uh, you just want really want to be careful. Uh, my advice to you is don't go trying to set any records. Chances are you're traveling. Uh, you know, your hydration, your eating, your sleep, things are probably just off. You know, we're much more creatures of habit than we probably realize. And most of us, even if our lives aren't perfect, we're still in a certain regimen from day to day. And when we travel, that certainly gets thrown off. Um, so to go and try and break records when you're traveling and stuff, I don't, I don't think it's a really wise thing. Unless you just really feel that great. And I mean, you know, I'm, I'm nobody to stop you at that point. But um, just be conscious of that. It's better safe than sorry. Definitely you want to go home from a trip in one piece and uh, go back to the gym on Monday. I'm Evan Santapani, here with the G6, and this has been uh, Chess Training at the Lift Factory. It'll be a weekend, 2019.